All right, guys, uh, Amy and I are gonna make some raised beds today. We're gonna to be using these half barrels that we were given, and we're gonna repurpose them into hopefully some really nice raised beds. So stick around and see how we do it. All right, guys, as you can see, these were originally these are plastic food grade barrels. Um, now the people that had it before us, um, they used them as troughs for their animals. So they would put the feed in, they had pre-drill holes to let water out so that way it wouldn't collect water. We've had them for a while now and Donald is getting the screws out. And last night we decided that we're gonna turn these into raised beds. We just hadn't quite thought about using them that way, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try because one, with our property flooding, we wanna be able to um, protect our, our, what we're growing. Two, if there's um, any type of hurricanes or tropical storms that we need to move these, It'll be easy for us to pick up and move, especially for me. Um, a lot of times I have to prep because Donald's working. And uh, it'll just give us a little bit more security. Plus, it'll be easy on our backs, huh, honey? Yeah. <laughs> and there's Clyde all up in the younger. Yeah, we're not getting any younger. That is for sure. So, we're going to go ahead and we have a total of eight of them. Uh, that we have to pry the screws out first and then we're going to show you guys the next steps as we go along. going to do is we're going to take these boards and we're going to fasten them to the end of uh, these half barrels. There's going to be one that goes in the middle and one that goes in the far end and that's going to make up our cluster of four of these half barrels. Then I'm going to cut ones to go on the side here and then we will fasten our legs to them. So now we got our three boards across here. You can see. Um, so now we got to put our two boards on the side. And that'll hold up our, that'll tie everything together and make it a lot stronger. Here's what it looks like all before we put legs on it. All right, guys, we are cutting the legs for our raised beds. Um, they're like 25 and a half inches, something like that. Um, I've got one marked as a pattern so that I can make them all exactly the same length. And my saw blade will not go all the way through this, so I mark both sides.
four more to go because you're putting how many on six all right Okay, legs are put on. Now what we gotta do is, Donald's got to cut off these screw, screw Point. points, and then that's pretty much it, huh? Yep. Nice. This is a good idea, honey. All right, we just finished our second uh, raised bed. And this is a little single one. Amy wanted a single one. Well, um, we'll actually do two single ones. Two single ones. So this is. Uh, and then we'll do a double. Yep. Sounds like the a last plan. barrel. Sounds like a plan. And we just put the frame around. We're going to carry it over. And then Donald's going to get his uh, tool to cut the screws off. But we're just using the wood from the deck. Reuse, repurpose. Alrighty, we got them up on blocks. Now we just have to fill them up with dirt. Um, we might have to move them a little bit. And of course the chickens are all curious. Hello, Miss Cochin. So this side of the house gets more shade in the afternoon. So we're planning on doing herbs and uh, plants that we don't want in the ground in these. I'm gonna fill them up with some of the soil from our land, put a cardboard layer down, and then we bought some cheap soil to put on top of it. So that way we can suppress the weeds and save a little money on using our own dirt and not have to worry about weed eating so bad. All right guys, and if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and let us know in the comments, have you made anything like this out of something that you've reused, repurposed? We'd like to hear it. Put in the comments below. See y'all in the next one.